Welcome back for the third and final day of Leggett Automotive Group's virtual auto show. Today, we're talking all things EV. While some people are watching the EV revolution from the sidelines, electric vehicles have undeniably piqued everyone's interest. Let's take a look at what your favorite car brands are doing to lead into an all electric future. But first, we're starting the day with our exotic feature courtesy of Legendary Motor Car. We're kicking off every day with exotic features presented by our friends at Legendary Motor Car. Be sure to check out their full collection of amazing classic cars and restorations at legendarymotorcar.com. Holy cow, this thing's like being shot out of a cannon. 20 years ago, we started doing TV, and now Gary's convinced me we need to do this on YouTube, so here we are. It's probably said in almost every supercar video, hey, we just got the ultimate supercar in, but we did just get the ultimate supercar in. I kind of want to disagree, but I can't disagree. Everybody that's come up and looked at the car is just instantly drawn to the car. And then when you look at the specs and you see, you know, W16, 16 cylinders, four turbochargers, eight liters, 1500 horsepower, you just can't argue with that sort of performance in a car. But what's really cool about this car and what gets me fired up is the fact that the Debo relates back to Alberto Debo, who was a famous race car driver for the factory back in the 20s. And you're talking almost 100 years ago. That's what gets me fired up. And when you do a little bit of homework on Debo and Bugatti back then, the Type 35, it's incredible how many races they won. So obviously, the entire car is carbon, inside out, top and bottom. They've made everything as light as they can make it. And one of the coolest things is they've taken advantage of the shape and the giant knack duck on the roof, and they've incorporated that in the paint scheme on this car. It's all a translucent bluey green with a translucent black up the middle, so you can see the carbon, the exposed carbon fiber. And like I says, it carries on that knack duck through the roof really cool look. Guess how much the option is for this paint job? I thought it was a typo when we looked at the original build sheet. 500,000 euros for the exposed carbon with the translucent paint on top of it. 500,000 euros, that's $580,000. It's a couple GT3 RS's just for the paint job. So what's really cool is they have that center fin really starting at the grill all the way up the hood, all the way across the roof, you know, over the giant fin, but they also carry that in as a styling cue inside the car. If we go to the interior here, the whole interior is carbon fiber and Alcantara. And then if you look through the windshield here, they used the theme of this dividing line to split the interior in two and give the driver's side one color and the passenger side another color. When you're sitting in the car and you look over and you see this giant crescent here, the design feature here, the curve of it, just you can't help but think of the Type 57. And as you can see, to save weight, I mean, there are some power options on the seat, but if I want to get closer to the wheel, it's old school. There isn't some big Tesla style iPad looking thing here. It's really just these four digital gauges and then the analog speedometer in the center. Everything is controlled on the digital gauge here and you flip between your radio, your media, your nav, your phone and everything. So you've got all your info and telemetry on the right here. You can toggle between tire pressures. You can even run the stopwatch on your lap time. And on the left here, what's interesting, is you can have your mile an hour here, but if you click it once to the left, it gives you your RPM, your tack, matched with your horsepower right there. So that's something neat to look at as you're getting close to 1500 horsepower. So when you first get in the car, these neat little gauges here, they just look like your climate control. But if you hold the button on the bottom here, it ends up showing your water temperature, oil temperature, and your boost. So unlike a lot of cars nowadays that are just paddle shifters, you can also shift here like it's a sequential. So at the end of all these videos, obviously I've been doing Tom's line. Do you need a car like this? Do you want a car like this? Do you have a line for this? Nobody needs 
one of the world's fastest, most exotic, rarest, most expensive, 40 built, stupid amount of money, 1500 horsepower. Nobody needs a car like this. But I want one. I definitely <laughs> want one. Who wouldn't want one? <laughs> Hello everyone, this is Matt Jensen of Leggett Automotive Group. Again, welcome you back for day three of our virtual auto show. Today, we're wrapping up with all things electric vehicle. And what better way to lead into our day than with a discussion about the future of EV infrastructure. I had the distinct pleasure of sitting down with longtime friend and head of automotive retail at Google Canada, Matthew Grouton. For those of you sitting on the EV sidelines, after hearing what's coming down the pipeline, in the near future for charging infrastructure, you might not want to wait anymore. Please enjoy the discussion. The majority of charging is happening at home. And so, you know, I, I, was, I, I tell this story when I'm in a lot of meetings about my nephew at Christmas. Um, somebody, it wasn't even me, somebody made some comment about, you know, Tesla and my nephew who's like 16 and lives in a small rural town was like, I'm never owning an electric vehicle. And I was like, you know, JJ, that's a really bold statement. Why? And he had all these concerns. And they are all the concerns that you think everyone has. Uh, so he's like, what if I run out of charge? I'm like, what if you run out of gas? Right. Right. Like CAA comes or, you know, roadside assistance from your OEM comes and tops you up, whether it's gas or electricity, it's the same deal. He's like, oh, he goes, but what if I want to go camping? I'm like, what if you want to go camping? Now you have an enormous battery with you camping to right. power the camps like right. Right. This, which i'm like this is a better experience there's more um there's more usability there's more purpose for this vehicle um even when it's not in use uh, i'm like there's even discussion of how you know if you know, and this could be a plausible scenario and we talk about you know vehicle to grid or vehicle to uh vehicle charging kind of ecosystems um some employers where they have large, you know, parking areas may offer charging as a benefit to their employees. Right. And then they can take that fully charged vehicle and take it home and plug it into their house. Right. And so instead of powering the vehicle while they're driving, they're now powering, you know, Netflix that they're watching on their TV. Very interesting. I did see that on the Ford F-150 that they were looking at basically turning it into a backup generator. So you basically have a giant battery on wheels, right? right? It, and so, yes, there are some some you know control apparatus that needs to be put in there to make that work in both directions. But it's not it's not a heavy lift for these enormous batteries on wheels to become useful in the job site, to become you know useful in the campsite, to be useful at home uh, in a way that your current gas vehicle is not. And so, as I went, as you know, JJ had all these objections, and I went point for point. He goes, "But what about power?" And I was like the first generation electric F-150 more powerful than the same class of existing gas powered F-150. Right. And that's out of the gate, right? Like that's day one. Uh, I was like, what is it going to be like in 10 years when it's mandated? Right. right. Yeah. They're so, very torquey, right? They're, they're, they're quick. The electric vehicles are very quick. A lot of, a lot of torque, a lot of power. They tap out, you know, on the, on the long track. Like if you're going a long distance, unless it's built for that, unless you're, you know, what are the Formula E, unless you're actually driving a Formula E vehicle. Um, a lot of your consumer vehicles don't have the same, you know, you see it on all the YouTube videos where they're driving the Teslas against the like Shelby Mustangs, but, uh, or Ferraris or what have you. But again, that's something that can be solved for. So I think there, what, what a lot of people see, and it's, it's just common with any change is they look at an electric vehicle, they think about the use case and they're like, I have all these questions. How long um, before I have to charge it again? Where am I going to charge it? And so until they have it and use it and realize, oh, I'm going to probably mostly charge it at home. And, oh, like most of the time, like in my gas powered vehicle, I'm never going to run out of charge. Right. They don't realize that those things aren't really issues. Those are just right. experiential issues you haven't, you haven't, you know, overcome or experienced yourself yet. Right. So outside of daily driving, there's not much of a concern because the range is, 
on a lot of these vehicles, 400 plus kilometers, right? And, yeah. uh, you know, obviously for a daily commute, that's more than sufficient. Well, I hope so. Anyway, if you're commuting longer than you 400 kilometers, <laughs> yeah, you know, maybe you should change jobs. But um, you're right. It is, it is this, the road trip scenario where things get a little more complicated. Uh, but there's also commitments already for there to be very evolved charging infrastructure put across the Trans-Canada, right? right? And up and down all of the major arteries. Um, and I think, you know, the, again, the current situation with oil and gas, there's already a lot of movement with existing, you know, energy companies, they don't call themselves oil companies anymore, to look at how they can pivot into being, you know, both, you know, petroleum-based and electricity-based and offer that as a service so that when you pull up to your shell station, you're also, you're seeing the pumps, but you're also seeing the charge stations right there. There, you know, I, I you know, you know me, I grew up in Wyerton. I spent a lot of time in Tobomori. There are six destination charging stations, like three from Tesla, three from another provider in Tobomori, population, basically nothing, yeah. right? So that people who want to drive, do the day trip, to Tobomori and their whatever Leaf or their Tesla or, you know, or in the future their F-150 Lightning right. have no issue. You, it's probably it's only 300 kilometers from Toronto. You get there, you plug in, you charge for the day, you do your hiking on the Bruce Trail, you get your you know, pint at the Tobomori Brewery, and you're good to go. Right. Um, the the other thing that is a little more far afield but is in development uh, that I think also mitigates this to to some extent or will uh, is there much like you know, it, and they use in the Silicon Valley uses the analogy of like smartphone on wheels, right? At the end of the, at the end of the day, your electric vehicle has a lot of the same components, except this has no wheels on it. And the, but now the way we charge this, like the way a lot of us charge our phones is we just set it down, right? We just, we just put it on a charging pad. And so some OEMs have already licensed or built their own technology. Other startups are building technology that is effectively charge pads for parking spots that just goes embedded either on the surface or ultimately embedded in the concrete in a way that you don't even have to plug in. You just drive up and you put in your credit card and you start charging. Sure. There is also talk and experimentation of charging lanes. So like a, a think of the way, you know, it's kind of no mistake that even here in Ontario, the, the, you know, your high um, occupancy lanes are also EV lanes uh, because there is this kind of forward thinking notion that at some point you could put, you know, rapid charge pad infrastructure under the concrete. Right. And so you could charge your vehicle while you were driving. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, it's un until you're hip deep in it, and, you know, lost in the black hole of YouTube videos about the future technology around electric vehicles. Mm -hmm. You may not see it, you may not be paying attention, but a lot of these things are already being developed. A lot of the, you know, the although the infrastructure may not have been deployed, the opportunity to buy it and deploy it is certainly there. It's now it's time and money. Right. And now, what's new in EV? You've heard a lot about this revolutionary SUV, that will completely redefine luxury EVs, but now I want to take you up close to explore the remarkable design and innovative technology for yourself. Designed to energize all of your senses, the Lyric represents the dawn of a new era for Cadillac, an all-electric SUV charging towards our electric future. In every detail, Lyric is the rare convergence of art, technology, and performance. An all-electric SUV that can only be described as the Cadillac of EVs. Now, without further ado, let's take a look at the future of Cadillac together. Building on more than a century of innovation and automotive experience, Cadillac Lyric introduces an entirely new kind of Cadillac. And with it, 
the privilege to define what American luxury means to an EV buyer. First off, let's take a look at the new face of Cadillac. With Lyric, exterior design is no longer limited by the constraints of internal combustion engines, like airflow requirements of the grille. This enables design without limits. Without the need for a traditional grille, Lyric features a black crystal shield with an all-new finishing technique to create illumination, depth, and detail. From first approach, Lyric recognizes the driver and greets you with a choreographed lighting sequence with 736 exterior LED lights that animate as you approach and walk away from your vehicle. The Cadillac signature vertical lights uphold the past yet captivate with new artful integration. Cadillac's first all-electric SUV will first and foremost be a Cadillac. Built on GM's new Ultium platform, Lyric will deliver the performance you expect from a Cadillac. As a structural element of the body chassis system, the Ultium platform enables near instantaneous torque, which delivers a fun-to-drive experience and great performance. The near 50-50 front-to-rear weight distribution of the vehicle provides a lower center of gravity, which results in a vehicle that's sporty, responsive, and built for spirited driving. Lyric will offer a Cadillac estimated 340 horsepower and 325 pound-feet of torque. Cadillac Lyric introduces the brand's new design language and previews the craftsmanship and technology to make a dramatic statement about the future of the brand. Lyric has very bold and luxurious proportions. When you look at the side silhouette of the vehicle, you see a very expressive shape. The exterior design is assertive and modern with a low, fast roof line and a wide, confident stance. We know that range is one of the biggest factors when it comes to selecting an EV, which is why we're designing Lyric to offer more than 300 miles of range on a full charge based on Cadillac testing. And when charging on the go is necessary, Lyric will offer DC fast charging rates up to 190 kilowatts at public charging stations. To put charging into context, this is up to 76 miles in 10 minutes with DC fast charging. Lyric will offer two wheel options. Standard are the 20 inch split six spoke alloy wheels with diamond cut dark Android finish and gloss black arrow inserts. Through the use of a precise reverse rim machining process, the optional 22-inch wheels we see here echo the striking scale of the Lyric show car, delivering a larger visual appearance while maintaining refined ride dynamics. Lyric has a full glass roof, which redefines the concept of a panoramic roof. Its rail-to-rail -rail glass is complemented by a power interior sunshade. The Lyric may be an EV, but it's still an uncompromising SUV. There's a generous 60.8 cubic feet of max cargo space, and the flat folding 60-40 second row seats offer freedom and flexibility. Lyric's interior design breaks convention to bring the sensual and the technical together. The goal of the Lyric interior is to create a partnership between the driver and the vehicle where the vehicle can seamlessly improve the driver experience. Intricate laser etched patterns through black ash wood show brilliant backlight design. AKG brings studio sound to the Lyric, which features the Cadillac exclusive AKG Studio 19 speaker sound system. It provides sound that's precise and clear from distortion. All speakers are placed for sound optimization, including speakers in the front head restraints, ensuring all passengers have an immersive audio experience. A flowing interior design incorporates Cadillac's first production application of a large, curved, seamless LED display. The curved 33-inch diagonal advanced LED display allows for a more comfortable and driver-centric experience. Artfully integrated into the vehicle, the display has the ability to emit over one billion colors. Again, Lyric was designed to embody the very height of Cadillac design and innovation. So of course, hands-free driving sets you free to enjoy the journey with available Super Cruise, the industry's first true hands-free driver assistance technology for compatible roads. Lyric was chosen for Cadillac's first EV as it's a poetic, 
expressive name inspired by our rich connection to the arts, especially music. The Cadillac Lyric harnesses the energy of motion and delivers a truly choreographed multi-sensory experience. Precious time of the court lets me think about the next move. Some people think we need to take huge strides to create change, but this isn't true. A simple move can make a world of difference. We all have a part to play, no matter how big or small. It sounds complicated, but it's simple. If we all make small steps, just think how far we can move together. The electrified vehicle revolution is here, and Kia is playing a leading role with the all-new EV6. The all-new Kia EV6 offers driving excitement, impressive range, roominess, and a remarkable collection of technologies in a sleek, compact vehicle that's ready for all of life's adventures. Available in light, wind, and the sporty GT line, EV6 is Kia's first dedicated electric vehicle under Plan S, which will bring 11 all-new electrified models to markets around the world by 2026. It's based on Kia's new adaptable eGMP platform that provides a flat floor, wide stance, and a long wheelbase matching the Kia Telluride three-row SUV. This platform also enables EV6 to offer jaw-dropping performance, dual motor E all-wheel drive capability, and ultra-fast charging times. Up front, the digital Tiger Grille brings a new twist to the Kia brand's signature face. Sharp headlamps sit above an aggressive lower air intake. 19-inch wheels are standard, while the GT-Line dual motor E all-wheel drive model features 20-inch wheels. Along the side, clean surfaces and flush door handles contribute to EV6's sleek, sporty image. A unique door blade runs low along the body before arcing up into an LED light cluster across the high rear deck, which also serves as a spoiler. The overall effect is a continuous line that encircles the vehicle and brings harmony to the design. Inside the EV6 is a spacious, driver-oriented environment clad in sustainable materials. Recycled plastic is used throughout, and some seat variants use 100% vegan leather. The thin front seats are framed with ultralight Giga Steel for maximum knee room for second row passengers. As an added bonus, the seats recline all the way back, in case you need a power nap while you're powering up your EV6. In total, there's 102 cubic feet of passenger room. For cargo, EV6 offers over 24 cubic feet of space behind the second row, or a competitive 50.2 cubic feet with the second row seats folded down. And for smaller items that need to be tucked out of sight, there's an underhood storage compartment, another added bonus of driving an electric vehicle. Once the journey is underway, both the driver and front passenger can appreciate the dual curved 12.3 inch displays that extend across the instrument panel. This panoramic display offers access to Kia's world-class connectivity system, Kia Connect, which includes a Wi-Fi hotspot, over-the-air updates for maps, a new stolen vehicle recovery system with immobilization, and wireless connectivity. You can even check battery status and access other notifications on an Apple or Android smartwatch, or use Amazon Alexa or Google Assistant to remotely start EV6 using your voice. Plus. Apple CarPlay or Android Auto are included for access to mobile apps on the go. Just below the infotainment screen, there's a new touchpad for climate and audio controls, complete with convenient knobs for temperature or volume and tuning for the Meridian Premium Audio System. Going gas-free isn't the only future-forward aspect of driving EV6. The augmented reality head-up display helps keep your eyes on the road by projecting the info you need most within your line of sight over the road ahead.
EV6 is available in three motor and battery configurations that make range anxiety a thing of the past. Rear wheel drive models with a standard range battery are estimated to achieve 232 miles of range on a full charge. Rear wheel drive models with a long range battery deliver 310 miles of range and 225 horsepower. And in independent testing, rear wheel drive wind models reached up to 339 miles. Dual motor E all wheel drive models with a long range battery reach 274 miles with 320 horsepower and deliver 446 pound feet of instant torque for an electrifying zero to 60 acceleration time of 4.6 seconds. A strong body structure with 75% high strength and ultra high strength steels, a battery pack mounted low in the floor, responsive steering, and a firmly damped five link suspension help ensure crisp handling to complement EV6's ample power. EV6 features a state-of-the-art 77.4 kilowatt-hour high-density lithium-ion battery with the world's first volt multi-charging architecture. This means up to 217 miles of range in just 18 minutes with standard ultra-fast DC charging. EV6 also features an innovative vehicle to load function, which means it's a power source on wheels for computers, power tools, recreational gear for tailgating or camping, or household devices. Power points are available both inside the vehicle and through the exterior charge port. No Kia vehicle is complete without a suite of advanced safety and driver assist systems. And EV6 is equipped with our most cutting edge technologies to date. Navigation-based smart cruise control curve uses the navigation system to lower the vehicle's speed proactively before upcoming curves in the road. Blind spot avoidance assist helps drivers detect vehicles in the blind spot and remain in their lane. Forward collision avoidance helps the driver break to avoid or lessen a collision when vehicles or pedestrians are detected in front. It also works during lane changes and when turning through junctions. And Highway Driving Assist 2 is a semi-autonomous system that keeps a set distance and speed from the vehicle ahead while keeping EV6 centered in its lane to help drivers feel even more relaxed in heavy traffic. And when holding the steering wheel and engaging the turn signal switch, the vehicle will automatically change lanes for you. And that's just to name a few of the 21 ADAS features that come standard on EV6. Additional safety features include a surround view monitor, which uses four cameras to give the driver a 360 degree view of the vehicle's surroundings. Parking collision avoidance technology helps detect and protect against backing into obstructions. Add remote smart parking assist which allows you to step out and use your key fob to pull your EV6 into the tightest parking spots and any tough parking situation becomes effortless. Legate Automotive Group has recently launched their Drive Life initiative, ensuring every customer gets into the perfect car to fit their lifestyle. To find out more about how they're putting you in the driver's seat, visit legate.ca slash drive life. The Hummer EV is the ultimate expression of performance and capability, which is exactly why we're here today. The rugged terrain and majestic vistas surrounding us are precisely the types of locations where consumers will bring their Hummer EV. The Hummer EV, it's both rugged and approachable. It's perfect for any adventure. The overarching design language, it's technical, capable, and it's contemporary. The Hummer EV profile, it is unmistakable with off-road proportions, 
and a wide stance. The headlamp lighting, it's premium, it's high tech, and it's unexpected. It's also expressive when charging, and at walk up, the vehicle comes alive. Our exterior color has a refined but impactful presence. Our goal was to provide a strategy that embodies the look and feel of modern adventure. I think the first thing people are going to notice inside the interior of the GMC Hummer EV are these large floating displays. We have a 12.3 inch instrument cluster, a General Motors first 13.4 inch touchscreen, as well as a secondary display that's specific for climate controls. Our interface on these displays are very robust and you can custom tailor them to your desires. We have multiple layouts you can choose from the instrument cluster, as well as zones inside there that you can change if you want. And then in the touchscreen, the 13.4 inch gives us a large enough canvas to be able to do two applications at the same time. The interface for this experience is a blend of sophistication and attitude with these technical science fiction graphics that look like they're floating on top of a lunar terrain. The interface itself will evolve throughout the day, really dramatic and moody at night, but then during the day you get a really bright, clean interface to give you the best contrast and visibility. The motion and 3D graphics in this system is unlike anything you've ever seen in a vehicle before, and it's made stronger by our partnership with Epic Games using the Unreal Engine. When we look specifically at the touchscreen area, we're offering an unprecedented amount of information for off-road enthusiasts, and something that's really unique to that is this pro view to give full screen access to three different customizable widgets, as well as integrating that with our virtual auxiliary switches that you can customize the name of, as well as change the iconography to really make it your own. In addition to the incredible design elements, in order to bring this revolutionary super truck to life, we knew that we also needed to have groundbreaking EV technology under the skin. I'd like to introduce you to the Hummer EV. Now this is the first vehicle to use GM's Ultium platform. The heart and soul of this system is a 24 module double stack battery system the sheer power of the Ultium battery pack enables off-road and performance features that will really set us apart. And we can cool and control these batteries with our architecture for even more performance from special driving modes like terrain to watts to freedom. But I think the coolest part of the Ultium system is the battery management system, which debuts on the Hummer EV. And the speed and robustness of communications really sets it apart from a wired system. And the Ultium platform takes this technology and creates something that we like to call universal charging. We can charge just about anywhere. You can go all the way up to 800 volts and 350 kilowatts on a DC fast charge. This will actually get you about 100 miles charge in only 10 minutes. One of the neat features here is that when you're up high on a hill and you're coming down the hill to get home, we'll actually generate electricity on the way down and all this happens through the Ultium drive units. The motor in the front is actually combined with a locking differential for the rock crawling. The rear motors can work in concert with that independently on the driver's side versus the passenger side to give you real control and torque vectoring. Now, with all this capability, you have to make sure that no matter what, these systems are durable. And you have to control all of this torque and all of these different modes of operation with confidence and our pure EV propulsion system also holds torque for much longer and through a wider range of speeds than even diesel engines, which is great for both on and off-road. The Hummer EV will be the first GMC to offer Super Cruise, the hands-free driver technology that works on over 200,000 miles of highways in North America. And remember I said zero compromise? So with that in mind, we've added automatic lane change, and to bring the Hummer EV and the outside world together is our e-assist app. This allows monitoring of the vehicle's energy usage, along with setting up a charging schedule, conditioning the battery temperature on the way to the charging station, and teaching you how to drive more efficiently to maximize your range and more. All of these cutting edge EV technologies were aimed at one goal, to deliver the ultimate expression of off-road capability and performance. So what we did is we created multiple steering modes on the Hummer EV, including crab walk, to make that a lot easier for the customer and more intuitive to navigate tight places. Well, crab walk is an awesome feature, but four-wheel steer is also going to be great on-road. We have ground clearance of 15.9 inches, an approach angle of 49.7 degrees, and a departure angle of 38.4 degrees. Vertical wall climb greater than 18 inches, and water fording capability 32 inches. One of the Hummer EV's amazing features is its available extract mode, which provides up to six inches of additional suspension lift. 
Well, and it's not just about getting out of the toughest situations. It's also about confidently being able to tackle just about any type of low-speed off-road terrain. The team has done an incredible job with its underbody armor. We also have underbody cameras, which can actually help you navigate around or above those big obstacles. With all our live camera feeds, it's like having a virtual spotter right inside the truck. We make it even more thrilling. Think of the way a roller coaster ride builds the anticipation. We wanted to generate those same feelings in the Hummer EV, and we do, thanks to what we're calling Watch the Freedom Mode. It's an interactive experience that engages the senses. The vehicle conditions its electronics and establishes the ride height for the lowest possible center of gravity. At the same time, you hear this awesome 14 speaker Bose sound system belt out cool music, and when the customer sees arm, your excitement reaches its peak. That's what Watch the Freedom is all about, delivering the unbridled acceleration only possible with an EV and completely unexpected for a vehicle of this size. Our revolutionary Hummer EV is truly built for zero limits. got a targeted 775 pound feet of torque. It's targeted to go from zero to 60 in the mid four second range. It's a driving experience that's pure, unfiltered exhilaration from the moment you hit the accelerator. Oh, and it's an F-150. Introducing the all electric F-150 Lightning, the smartest, most innovative F-150 we've ever built iconic F-150 capability meets advanced technology, meets electrification for an experience that's more connected, more dynamic, and more unexpected than ever before. It's the quickest accelerating F-150 built yet, with the most targeted torque of any F-150 ever. It's one of the most thrilling rides we've ever built, truck or otherwise. But even when it's not being driven, it's still got the ability to amaze. Starting with Ford Intelligent Backup Power, which gives you the ability to offboard up to 9.6 kilowatts of power, enough to power a home for about three days. And with the available 9.6 kilowatt Pro Power onboard, you get 11 plugs with enough power to keep your mobile business running. Or if you've got a table saw, a blender, a circular saw, a fan, a can opener, a kettle, a slow cooker, and a juicer that need powering, the F-150 Lightning is up to the task. Then, when the truck needs powering on the go, it's got access to the Ford Pass charging network. Easy to access, easy to customize, easy to pay for through the Ford Pass app. And at the front end of all this power, popping the hood has been completely redefined with the Mega Power Frunk a walk-in closet that you can drive with 400 liters of storage, capable of hauling up to 400 pounds, standard with 2.4 kilowatts of power up front with four 120 volt and two USB outlets. Storage that's customizable and lockable. The Mega Power Frunk is quite possibly the most useful innovation since, well, since the truck bed. Then, at the nerve center of all this capability, you get an available 15.5-inch touchscreen, which can be used to activate four different drive modes and access an impressive range of productivity-enhancing technologies, like Intelligent Range, which considers towing and payload, as well as terrain, traffic, and past driving behavior to automatically recalculate your range. It'll even program a new route if you need it. You also get an entire toolbox of available trailer tech. And most importantly, you get an F-150 Lightning with power up, over the air software updates. That means you get a truck that's connected to engineers at Ford. If they find a way to enhance features, quality, experiences, capability, and convenience, it's possible to receive those updates wirelessly. Now the F-150 Lightning runs nearly silently, but make no mistake, it's built Ford tough. Torture tested so it lives up to the F-Series standard. 
With the available extended range battery, Lightning has a targeted EPA estimate of 300 miles of range, targeted maximum available towing of 10,000 pounds, and targeted maximum payload of 2,000 pounds. Then, when the workday is over, 100% charging overnight. And it's designed to look like a truck, because that's what it is. The next chapter of Ford F-Series, America's best-selling trucks for 44 years running. It's not just another new EV. It's over a century of innovation and human insight, manifested in a revolutionary new pickup. It's a trusted workhorse, made more thrilling and useful than ever. It's the moment when Ford took electric and turned it into lightning. It's the only all-electric truck that's built Ford tough. It's the all-new F-150 Lightning. Ford made their first all-electric SUV a Mustang. Rapid acceleration, reactive handling, zero emissions and zero oil changes, and no more pumping gas. Ford made it fast charging and gave it the largest public charging network in North America. And with a 300-mile range between charges, imagine how far you can go. The Mustang Mach-E has an array of driver assist technology. Cameras and sensors monitor conditions around you to enhance your awareness and provide more control. The extra confidence comes standard. And your all-electric Mustang Mach-E will keep getting better. Just like you update your phone, Ford updates your vehicle. Not just with background stuff, but with improvements you can feel, like upgrades to capability and entirely new features. You can adjust the performance to fit your mood. Three different settings let you control how it feels and how it sounds. Whisper mode is smooth, sounds like wind. Unbridled mode is raw power, sounds like a Mustang. There's certain conditions that you can only really achieve in winter time, right? Slippery roads, icy conditions. So unless you actually subject a vehicle to those conditions, you never really know how it's gonna behave. We're currently finishing up all of our fine tuning. We finally have everything in the right place at the right time and every single one of those things can affect all-wheel drive performance. People don't think about electric vehicles in winter because there really isn't an electric vehicle out there that satisfies the needs of an all-wheel drive SUV in winter and the Mach-E for the first time really does satisfy those needs. The all-wheel drive's ability to adapt to changing conditions, that means that if you happen to be in a higher grip condition, like on a highway or something, you have all that acceleration, but as soon as you turn off of that highway onto a snow-covered road, you have the control that you would expect. I mean, it gets real cold here, right? It's extreme. And no matter how we stress the battery pack with cold temperatures, this vehicle is able to perform. have worked to have this tight coordination between the brake controls and all-wheel drive and propulsion controls and uh, snow, slippery surfaces, the vehicle tracks, amazing in all environments.
Before we started this program, we drove every one of the competitive products that are out there. And we immediately began to notice that there was a lot of opportunity for improvement. We've continued to improve the Mach-E along the way so that it will be one of the best electric vehicles out there. I mean, it blows you away how this car accelerates in the snow. We've got something that anybody can get behind the wheel of it and immediately be surprised at how well it performs. They'll get behind the wheel and they'll know that there's just something different about it. And I don't think they're ever gonna be disappointed. We've got two weeks left of winter development and we're finishing up a few things, but I'm really excited about where the car is and I just can't wait to see what people think of it. They're gonna be so impressed with how the vehicle drives, with the space they have, with seeing it in their driveway, showing it to their families. It's gonna be pretty awesome. The Silverado EV doesn't just set the standard for all electric pickups. It sets the bar for traditional truck capability and completely reimagines what a truck can be. We will offer several variants of the Silverado EV, starting with a work truck and a higher end RST model in late 2023. Our clean slate approach allowed us to create a new body architecture, which efficiently leverages the available 24 module Ultium battery pack as part of the fundamental structure, which enables our impressive range. This structural design integrates the capability Silverado customers have come to expect from a full-size pickup in terms of strength, durability, and performance, while also providing a more comfortable, confident ride both on and off-road. Offering a GM estimated range of 400 miles on a full charge on both work truck and RST models, Silverado EV customers get all they can expect from a Chevy truck and so much more. And standard DC fast charging capabilities of up to 350 kilowatts enable the Silverado EV to add approximately 100 miles of range in only 10 minutes on public DC fast chargers. Two motors deliver power to the available 24 inch wheels on RST improving vehicle responsiveness and control. The power is impressive and immediate. At the push of a button on the RST, wide open watts mode delivers at least 664 horsepower and an impressive 780 foot-pounds of torque at the driver's disposal, boasting a GM estimated zero to 60 time of under four and a half seconds. The chassis is designed with independent rear suspension Add to that automatic adaptive air suspension and the Silverado EV can raise and lower up to nearly two inches in each direction. Four wheel steering offers a tighter turning radius at low speeds and improved handling and stability at higher speeds, including great trailering dynamics. The RST model offers up to 10,000 pounds of towing capability and 1,300 pounds of payload. When it comes to power in the Silverado EV, we went above and beyond traditional truck performance. When combined with the available accessory power bar, the power-based charging system offers up to 10 outlets to provide a total of 10.2 kilowatts of all electric power available for your campsite, job site, and even your home. The Silverado EV is capable of charging another EV using the available accessory charge cord. The possibilities are truly endless, and we can't forget available Super Cruise with trailering, the industry's first true hands-free driver assistance technology for compatible roads.
Last, but certainly not least, the Silverado EV will offer a comprehensive suite of standard and available safety features. Together, these technologies give drivers more confidence behind the wheel. Our goal as a design team was to leverage the flexibility of the Ultium platform to deliver a truck that conveys capability and athletic performance. The front end design is sculpted to efficiently direct air down the body side, significantly reducing drag and turbulence. The Silverado EV work truck is estimated to have one of the lowest drag coefficients of any available production full-size pickup truck, which helps enable our impressive available range. The LTM platform allows us to imagine new storage and utility possibilities that come with an entirely new EV-centric design. Silverado's e-trunk, a lockable, weatherproof compartment in the front of the vehicle, provides enough space for a large suitcase and has a multitude of accessory options based on the unique needs of the customer. The storage capacity of the 5 foot 11 inch bed is maximized thanks to an innovative available multi-flex mid-gate, which provides just over nine feet of storage between the cab and the tailgate when open. A 40-60 second row split offers four configurations that create the ability to haul gear or equipment while still accommodating a passenger in the second row. An optional tonneau cover adds lockable, weatherproof storage to keep cargo protected from the elements. When you add in the available multi-flex tailgate with six functional positions, there's up to 10 feet, 10 inches of load floor and storage capability. Inside, we integrated significant first row storage on both the work truck and RST trims. These solutions are flexible, enabling customers to use the space in a way that best meets their needs. For example, the RST's modular console features a capacity of just over seven gallons. This means a lunch cooler can easily fit inside with room to spare. That's in the center console, sitting right between the driver and passenger. We took advantage of the Ultium architecture to shorten the front overhang for enhanced forward down vision and pushed the rear seats rearward, giving us spacious second row legroom. Passengers well over six feet tall will be comfortable and they won't have to figure out where to put their feet around the tracks of the seat in front of them. And the RST's fixed glass roof offers expansive visibility, increased headroom, and an enhanced experience of spaciousness for both front and rear passengers. The Silverado EV is packed with the latest technology, which engages customers even before they get behind the wheel. When a customer approaches the truck with an enabled cell phone or key fob, the Silverado EV RST greets them with a unique exterior lighting animation. The driver focused screens present information in a customizable and intuitive format. Upon entering the vehicle, a 3D animation appears on the massive standard 17 inch diagonal freeform LCD infotainment screen, which is paired with a neighboring 11 inch diagonal driver instrument display. Together with the driver heads up display, with a field of view of over 14 inches, a driver can't ask for more information at their disposal. With new hands-free start, the vehicle turns on automatically after the customer enters with an enabled device leaving hands free to buckle up and get on the road. The Silverado EV will be the first Chevrolet vehicle to feature Ultify, giving drivers the opportunity to evolve their vehicles over time, both enhancing the vehicle capabilities and accessing cloud services in the most flexible and fastest way possible. The Concept EV9 fuses big SUV attitude, like the Kia Telluride, with full EV credentials. In the Concept EV9, smooth, soft surfaces are balanced by technical shear forms. A soft and elegant treatment to the fuselage gives the Concept EV9 a friendly, warm, and approachable demeanor. At the same time, 
elevated angular fenders on the body rise up, giving the Concept EV9 a sharp, strong presence. High gloss cladding stands out next to the satin blue paint, while geometric precise triangular forms give the vehicle a modern and capable character. The Concept EV9 welcomes you into a brilliant new future. Now as you approach the vehicle, our signature Tiger Nose comes to life, proudly telling the world this is a Kia for a new era. LED lights form a star map pattern, providing a sense of clarity and radiance at the start of any journey. Moving towards the rear of the, of the vehicle, unique LED taillights echo the star map that's also at the front. The taillight trace the vehicle's wide and stable stance with its strong shoulders and very upright windows. Furthermore, the large daylight opening of the panoramic skyroof gives passengers great views across day and night, whether in the city or out in nature. A solar panel built in the hood helps recharge your battery. Inside, we craft and create interiors that innovate, push boundaries, and give you a first-class lounge in which you can relax, focus, and be inspired. These qualities have all been carried into the Concept EV9. With an imposing and solid exterior and an open, lightweight interior, we believe we perfectly express our opposites united ethos. The naturally integrated pop-up steering wheel and a 27-inch ultra-wide display provide all passengers with a broader sensory experience while on the move. Now, electrification offers the advantages of maintaining the in-vehicle experience not only in driving, but also when the vehicle is stationary. When the vehicle is on the move, the Concept EV9 is in what we call active mode. But when it has come to a stop, there are two modes to access, pause mode and enjoy mode. In pause mode, the second row seats fold and become a table, creating a living space to gather and interact. In enjoy mode, the third row seat can be switched from front to back to see the outside. The Concept EV9 various seat modes are flexible, and give the occupants new perspectives. Opposites United also encompasses a world of color and materials that are reflected in nature. The Concept EV9 was inspired by the idea of water. And we wanted the oceans to guide us and help us understand how to address our environmental responsibilities. For example, we, use, we are using recycled fishing nets for the flooring and seating fabric made from plastic bottles and recycled wool fibers. For every design element, we have strived to create a meaningful connection with nature and the world around us. So with the Concept EV9 and the wave of EV products to come, we believe Kia's future is looking exceptionally bright. All of us at Kia invite you to join us on this exciting, new, and beautiful journey. Thank you. Welcome back, everyone. I really hope you enjoyed those amazing electric vehicle features. We are going to conclude today's session with two quick sneak peeks on the electric feature from Mazda and Toyota, followed by a little bit of behind the scenes footage on the making of the Leggett Automotive Virtual Auto Show. I want to remind everyone that this is your last opportunity to enter the raffle type exclamation mark raffle in chat for your chance to win today's grand prize of paint protection film and two smaller prizes of visa gift cards in the value of $50.
Before I sign off, I want to say a special thank you to everyone that helped make this event happen. First and foremost, our amazing host, Julianne Chiaviti. You can find her on social at Automotive Woman, as well as our production partners, Greening Media. A special thanks also to everyone at Leggett Automotive Group who helped make this event happen. From myself and everyone at Leggett Automotive Group, thank you for watching. We hope to see you again next year.